Inclined to care. Lifting the Alleghenies. Lifting the Alleghenies to new heights. Keep in mind, back in the 60s and 70s, it was much busier than it is now. Sometimes we hear that there's nothing to do in the area. Yes, Johnstown's not, you know, as big as Pittsburgh or Philadelphia. Everyone's been saying downtown Johnstown's dead. Not true. We want people to start talking about what Johnstown looks like now. From Walnut Street to Clinton Street. And Washington to Vine. Downtown Johnstown has seen a spike in entrepreneurship and is back in business. After suffering three drastic floods, a loss of the steel industry, and a population decrease, many labeled the downtown region as a ghost town. But now, all of that is changing. Melissa Radovanik, president of the Discover Downtown Johnstown Board, speaks on the growing entertainment scene developing in the downtown business district. Between the movies in the park, the Christmas tree, the community garden, the scarecrow competition, everything that we do is for our greater Johnstown community. and. It is alive and well. Discover Downtown Johnstown has been promoting the Downtown Business District through the campaign Alive and Well and Open for Business. It's a very unique mix of businesses. You can buy a car in downtown. You can buy a tuxedo, a prom gown, jewelry. You can have any type of food or drink that you want. I can vouch that the pendulum has swung and our downtown is coming back. We spoke to several downtown entrepreneurs about the push for local businesses taking downtown by storm. Here is Dan Schaefer, owner of Flood City Cafe and Escape Rooms Johnstown, on why he chose to open his businesses downtown. We just love downtown Johnstown. While it has its struggles, it's also a place that has a lot of opportunity and a lot of hope, so we wanted to be part of that. Amanda Artem, owner of the newly opened Balance Restaurant, adds. The reason we chose to open downtown was because of the push forward from a lot of people trying to make the downtown better. There's a lot of amazing things in downtown Johnstown. Balance opened in March of 2018 and quickly became a staple of the downtown social hub. The restaurant's farm-to-table cuisine not only offers a healthy menu to its customers, but also supports local farms. When asked about the community presence, Artem discussed downtown's new atmosphere. It's continuing to grow, which is the coolest thing. There's so many people here really trying, and you see a difference on a Friday night. You see people walking around downtown. Dan Schaefer agrees. So many of the business owners have been able to eat together and just try to look at, okay, we're all doing this together. But in general, I've just seen a lot of business owners come to the understanding that a rising tide raises all ships. The work that we do affects each other. The unity, I think, is something that is definitely growing. Local business owner Taylor Clark witnesses this fellowship firsthand, co-owning two of Johnstown's oldest businesses, Miller's and Coney Island. Coney Island had been a landmark of Johnstown for more than 100 years until it closed its doors unexpectedly in 2017. However, the community rallied behind Clark to help him reopen just one year later with great support. People have come back in droves. Ever since we remodeled and brought some new people in, myself and my mother as well, people came back and i um, willing to give everyone a second chance down here. Just as Clark said, Johnstown gave Coney Island a warm welcome as the restaurant reopened its doors to its loyal customers. Now it is time for us to give Johnstown a second chance and continue working together to lift up downtown. Everybody's here for the same reason, and that's to make things better. And there's nobody here that's trying to deter from that right now. Everything that we do is a gift to the community. No matter where you lay your head at night, this downtown is our downtown, and everything that we do, we do for this community. From Central Park to the War Memorial, and Morley's Dog to the Incline Plain, the boundaries of the city have no limit for the future. What's next for Johnstown? Though the future may be uncertain. These business leaders are confident in their visions for downtown Johnstown. I envision. I envision. I envision. I envision a new technologically advanced. Johnstown. I envision Johnstown to be a place where the community comes together. I definitely and is able envision to rally Johnstown each other. being. So I envision a main street that doesn't have an empty building. Small city again. Uh, I envision all the side streets that, that don't have empty buildings. I envision making things that Johnstown's never I had before. I envision Johnstown just being time, that place ha- where I envision the come, businesses coming together and, and uh, I envision Johnstown people board. are living, working, playing, enjoying the downtown. And that's what I envision. I'm Jonathan Goetta. And I'm Shay Roth. And And that's that's what what we envision. envision. Inclined to Care was produced by students participating in the Community Foundation for the Alleghenies Youth Philanthropy Internship Program with support from the Saturday Light Brigade. All statements or opinions are those of the speakers and do not necessarily represent those of the Community Foundation for the Alleghenies or any collaborating organization. More information on the Youth Philanthropy Internship Program is available at www.cfalleghenies.org.